Yeah, okay. How to turn this, which is a um, laptop battery sort of pack with eight batteries in, to usable lithium rechargeable batteries for your torches. So first of all, we've got to take this apart. Um, also, there's a bit of maths you have to do, but I'll put this link in the description below. So it'll give you how to work out the cells and MAH of the battery as well. Um, <clears throat> they usually use a Dremel or something to get these apart. Well, I haven't got my Dremel with me at the moment. So I'm just going to prise it apart with a screwdriver. So just bear with me. Caution. When taking these apart, you've got to be quite careful you don't try and short them. Because you can end up with quite a nasty burn, which I got earlier on. Um, so they're very easy because they're still carrying a lot of power. And I'll also put a link in the description on the charger that I've ordered, which is an intelli intelligent charger. So if they are really, um, really discharged, this thing will actually uh, deep cell charge them back up again. And I'll put that in the link as well in the description below. Okay, I've prized it open with a screwdriver, just carefully. You don't want to short anything. They're not that, not that hard to get out. And then the cells drop out. You want to remove the circuit board without shorting anything, and I need a pair of snippers. I'm just going to be careful here because I don't want to short anything, so I'm just going to cut through that. I'm going to cut through that one. Sorry, cut through that one, cut through that one, and then we can discard that. And then, if you take these apart, just snip them. Same with these. Same with that. And we're left with them. So let's get one of the packs so we can. You might want to keep this because it just tells you what the. This is a slightly different one. This is um, four. I don't know if you can see that somewhere here. Four thousand mAh. 11.1 volt which like I said I put this in the description and it says here at 11.1 volt ends up with 2,121 is that right? 2,000? no 21,000 21,600 at 3.7 volts if you have 9 cells we've only got 8 cells so you'd have to do the math but I'll put that in the link in the description and we've got to get these apart so just Once you've got them apart, you can use long nose pliers or anything and just peel that back. Okay. And these would be a little bit sharp, so you've got to either file them down or bend them down, whatever you want to do, but file them down is the best way. And then remove this. Do exactly the same as the other end. you'll see the ends are different so you've got this will be positive so you can't make a mistake and that's negative and I'll get a better, we'll get a voltmeter in a minute and we'll do a test to see what the voltage is on it and I'll also get a torch and give that a go as well just to prove a point so same with this one so I've ended up with three battery packs which I found give me a total of 8 to 12 16 batteries, 8, 12, no it's not 8, 8, 16, 24 batteries. I was, like I said, I've ordered a deep cell charger. Okay, I'll carry on with these and I'll get back to you in a minute. Okay, and <clears throat> don't forget you need to clean the glue off because you don't want to put them in your torch and then find that they've, they've stuck. I've just done it, I'll show you a voltmeter reading on these in a minute. So one-handed, so I'm just, the glue's easy enough to get off. That's all I'm doing. Just pushing it up. It's, it's like a st sticky tape. And then I'll test the voltage. And once I've done that, then we'll try it in my torch, which I've just got there. There we go. Right, so we're going to test the charge on each one. Well, not each one, but just to see. Oh, oh, I'll put it on. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so your, your base is the nice flat surface at the bottom, which is your negative, and the one with the light slightly, you can see it's slightly raised, and spaces on it is your positive. So let's give it a test. These are coming at 3.8 volts. These, these look quite a good battery. This is at another pack. 3.4 volts, so a slight difference. Let's try another one. <laughs> Somewhere next door, 2.4, so we're losing some voltage on that. And I got this out of another pack, and this is out of, I'm not too sure what this was then. Where's that? That's an Acer, isn't it? I think. Acer. And that, I think these are quite depleted. 2.4 again. So now we'll do a test in the torch. So. Go. Okay, so you can see this one. This has got the, one of the original Chinese batteries in it. Which is a ultra fire. Okay, don't know if this is going to work. I have no idea. You got to remember these have got little bits on where we've pulled the tabs off. They've got sharp pieces, so you might want to file them down. Okay, we'll do a test. Some of them might be slightly small. See what I mean? It's a bit, but works. I mean, if you can put a penny washer in or something, you can get these little tiny washers. Put one in. Let's try this one. I mean, we might have a dead cell on a couple of them, which means just throw them away. Like I said, I'm getting that charge on there we go. Again. I'm going to try one of these. These look a bit smaller. These are the ones I just took out. Make sure you get the right way around. Well, these could be below power, I don't know, because only two point something. I don't know if LED is like intelligent, so they recognize the fact that when the battery's too low. I know one of my head torches does. Let's try this one. No, none of them are working at the moment. Well, let's see, one more, give one more try. Patience. Try one in the middle. No, none of them are working, but they might just want charges. So I'm not going to just discard them, but these look all right. So, in the description below, I will leave that out. Um, I shall also put a link in the description where they got that charger from, uh, and one way of saving money get your old laptop batteries. Well, if you can find some somewhere, keep them, charge them and reuse them. Thanks for watching. See you in the next vid. Take care. Okay, just, I know I ended the video just to show you. This is the one, which are quite good ones. If you can see the distance from the top of the rim to the battery. And this is the uh, Ultra Fire one, right to the top. So you might have to use something on the end or the back. Like a little tiny washer or something. See if that let's see what these are like. Bear with me. Yeah, they're quite low as well. And that one. Yeah, so they're all quite low. But there you go, that's enough to the tip, so you might have to put a little tiny washer in or something. Okay, thanks for watching. Take care.